Amidst the head-spinning events of the past week, the vice presidential debate on Wednesday takes on unprecedented significance. This is going to be a critically important debate. Usually, VP debates are sideshows, with the candidates earnestly discussing issues and tossing the occasional verbal zinger. But as Vice President Mike Pence and Senator Kamala Harris take to the stage in Salt Lake City, the main issue is literally a matter of life or death. I think there's going to be an enormous focus on the president's health, uh, Mr. Biden's health as well, frankly. Uh, they are the two oldest presidential nominees in American history. Uh, but right now, with the president ill and some questions swirling about how truly ill he is, uh, it really puts into stark contrast what this debate is actually about. And it is making sure that a person is ready to become president at a moment's notice. In terms of substance, the debate will almost certainly focus on how the Trump administration has handled the pandemic. That puts Pence, who chairs the White House Coronavirus Task Force, in a difficult spot. Uh, he ran the task force. He was chosen by the president to do it. He was responsible for those early, you know, statements about just flattening the curbs. I mean, I, I imagine uh, those that are working with Kamala Harris in preparation for this debate are spending a, a lot of their time uh, coming up with creative ways to lay this all at the feet of the vice president and the president. The style of the two candidates is quite different. Pence is stoic, unflappable, and unlikely to get rattled on stage. He's a seasoned debater, and his experience as a radio talk show host in the 1990s prepared him to think on his feet. Harris, a former courtroom prosecutor, has shown her ability to disconcert administration officials in Senate hearings. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh... Yes or no? Could you, could you repeat that question? I will repeat it. With great uncertainty over whether the two remaining presidential debates will take place at all, the showdown in Salt Lake City may be the last debate before Election Day in a campaign full of unpredictable twists. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera.